Welcome to Closed Caption Creator. In this video, we'll look at getting started by going through each step of the captioning process, including how to create a new project, inserting events, inserting time codes, and exporting your work. To begin, we'll start by creating a new project. Simply go to File, New Project. This will bring up the New Project window, where you'll give your project a name, frame rate, encode, and a source media. Your source media can either be an MP4 file you have stored locally, or a video uploaded to a third-party platform such as YouTube or Vimeo. In this example, I'll select YouTube as the media source and paste in my video's URL from the browser. Finally, I'll click the Create button to create my project. At this point, you should see your video load in the player, but before we start captioning, I would like to show you the keyboard shortcuts menu. To access the keyboard shortcuts, go to Edit, Shortcut Keys. This will bring up the keyboard shortcuts for Closed Caption Creator. The most important shortcuts you may wish to customize are the play pause command and the reverse skip commands. For play pause, I'll update the shortcut to be the enter key on my numpad. And for reverse skip, I'll update them to be the subtract and add key on the numpad. Before closing this menu, you'll want to take note of the shortcut to create new events since you'll be doing this quite a bit. Finally, click away to close the shortcuts window. Now you can start captioning. We'll start by selecting the top line of the event input and start playback. You'll notice I've started playback using the enter key on my numpad, which I set previously. To pause, all I need to do is hit the enter key once more. If I need to skip backwards or forwards, I can use the subtract and add keys. As I play back the video, I type what I hear and pause to keep up. Once I've finished captioning an event, I can hit the Tab key to create a new event. As you go through your project, you may wish to format the text so it's easier to read. The simplest method to do this is the Auto Format shortcut. The default to Auto Format is Ctrl D. This will center your caption text and break up any long lines. The goal here is to create diamond shaped events which are easier to read for your audience. Speaker identification may also be important to maintain clarity. Ensure that speaker IDs are added to their own line followed by a colon. You may also italicize them if their faces are hidden or off screen. Another way of identifying the speaker is by placing the caption text under the character on screen. You can do this by clicking and dragging the text line in the viewer. When positioning caption text, try and ensure you do not cover the speaker's mouth. Some viewers may use lip reading to help with comprehension. Once you've finished inserting all of your caption events, it's time to add time codes. The easiest way to do this is by using the captioning timing control panel below the viewer. Start by selecting your first caption event in the timeline editor. Next, go to the start of your video. Finally, start playback. As you play back the video, you will click the take now button to properly time out your closed captioning. When you click the Take Now button, it will insert the encode of the selected event and add an outcode to whatever event is currently being displayed. This means that you can use shortcuts to quickly add timing to all of your closed captioning. If an event is followed by silence, you can hit the Clear button to insert a blank event. These empty caption events can be removed once you've finished by using the Empty Events option in the Edit menu. It's now time to preview your work. Turn on Preview Play by toggling the option underneath the viewer and going to the start of your video. Hit Play to watch the captioning as it would be exported. If you turn on Caption Lock, you will also see the caption events be selected as the video plays back. This is helpful if you have to make quick changes to the events. Once you've completed captioning your entire project, it's time to export a sidecar caption file. You can do this by going to File, Export, Caption File, and selecting a format from the drop-down menu. This will either save to a default location or your file explorer will open asking you to select a folder. Closed Caption Creator also comes with the option to export video with burnt-in captioning using the File Export Video option on desktop versions. If you need more support or training, you can reach out to one of our support engineers using the form on our website. 